So even though this kitchen was in great shape, there are a few issues. One was they had a portable dishwasher. She wants a real dishwasher. Portable dishwasher, put it any way you want. Today you feel like it should go in your living room, tomorrow it could go in your bedroom. You just need to have a water hook up to it. We're gonna rework this kitchen so that we get a real dishwasher. We're gonna take this wall down so that we can get an island in here for seating. It's like a time capsule. Is that insulting to them? I don't think it's insulting because it was in good shape. What do we want to call it? John's Mansville. Paul just looked up at the ceiling and was going to name the project John Mansville. I think if we found a random word generator, it would come up with a better project name. All right, five words. Dare, tangible, spoon, bite, or forbid. That's the five I have to pick? We can go with adjectives, which is woozy, adorable. This kitchen is kind of adorable. Juvenile, frequent, or nosy. I mean, the house is like museum quality, so why don't we call this the split museum? That wasn't one of the words I gave you. Can you keep random generating new words? I mean, I can, I can but it's not helping. Five, magic, whip, cross, and part. I would say I pick cross. Yeah. So that's it? What's the next one? I don't know, you have to tell me. You can call it Jane Mansville. Now this thing can come off of the wall. All of this is gonna have to get reinsulated. Yeah, this whole wall? Yeah. Look at that. It's perfect. I wanna keep the smell out. All the sewer gases that come back up so the house doesn't stink. That's why you have this thing. They call this a trap. What happens is the water stays at the bottom of this so that the sewer gases come back and the water holds those gases from coming back up and through your drain so you don't smell poop and stuff all the time. We're also gonna renovate the bathroom, which you can now see because it's all demoed. But what I did not realize is that the heating system vent pipe runs inside this wall, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Maybe that pipe can get moved. It's right in my way. Because this bathroom was so tiny, like the toilet was here, it was literally like on top of the tub. Yeah, you could poop and wash your feet at the same time. You could. Everything is laid out the long way. We're gonna take the tub and put it here. I would open that up and then bring the washer dryer up here. We need to figure out what to do with that pipe because that's gonna be in the way. I had a weird gap on the plan that was about this big. Yeah. There, so if we can take this and put it there, then that will solve it. I need five feet for the tub, yeah. and this is like six. All right, so that's what we'll have to do. We're gonna have to move this. We've gutted the place, yep. opened up the whole first floor. Made a big difference. It's a big difference, it's like night and day here. Counters are in, cabinets are in. Now we're ready for tile. The fireplace, which was like 50-50 whether we were gonna do that, but I think- No, it was 100-100. Well, I think we knew it was 100-100. We knew she was gonna do it. For her, it was 50-50. The fireplace has this old, like tan beige brick. We told her that it was gonna look more out of place because now this whole area is gonna be painted, white trim, new kitchen, so this was gonna stick out even more. This would have been her new eyesore. The old looks older. Right. We covered up most of the brick, but we're gonna tile this. We're not leaving any of the brick exposed, right. let's be clear. Sorry. There's gonna be none of the old brick exposed. The old Everything's getting covered. Right, we're gonna lay this out so he knows what's going where. That's for the bathroom. It's cool because there's a little bit of black mixed in. This one's very beige and this one's very white. Yeah, grayish, is that what they call it? Yeah. All right, so this is gonna go here. Almost like a watery texture to it almost. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. This will give it a lot of contrast. All right, so let's bring these into the bathroom. So this bathroom, the tub was here and it was very tight in here. It's still, I mean, it's a small bathroom, it's still tight, but we moved things around a little bit. So you have the vanity with the mirror. And now this is also gonna be a place where you can stand and a mirror can be here. So if you have two people in here, there are two places where the girls can get ready. Whoever draws first wins. <laughs> Looks great. It's gonna drive me crazy, all this glue. They ship them like that with this this on there, I think, yeah. so they don't scratch up each other. It'll all come off. It's like a fidget spinner. It's not a fidget spinner. Well, it's like it's that kind of idea. Way, a fidget spinner is way more fun than this. This is kind of fun. The bathroom. That's some dark route in there, Susan. We're close. Yep. So did you land on a name for this place, Paul? I still think it's the museum house the museum. because this is literally how the house looks all the time. 
I'm confident that I could come here at a moment's notice and... In five years, and it will still, and it will still look like this. this. Right, right. <laughs> right. The kitchen size itself didn't really change. We just opened it up. Right. And so because the kitchen is so small and we wanted to get as much seating as we could, we made this aisle with seating on two sides. So you can have seating here, yeah. and you can also have a chair on the side. So we didn't overhang on two sides to maximize how many people can sit at this island. When I first looked at this, I was hoping that we could relocate this door and move it down and give us a little bit more kitchen space but because of the way the deck is, we couldn't do that. So we were stuck with this door location, right. and we had to work in this footprint. It just wasn't set up very well. The other thing was like, let's get this wall down, which we took. Mm -hmm. There used to be a wall here, so we took this entire wall out to open up the kitchen, dining room, living room combo. One of her bigger concerns too was about, do we tile the kitchen floor? Because now that everything's open, we had to refinish the floors in this whole upper floor. So we had kind of gone back and forth about, do we, just tile the kitchen floor and we don't have to do that. In the end, they decided they wanted hardwood. It sounds easy, just put hardwood in the kitchen, but yes. once the wall's gone and it's open, now you really are touching all of the continuous hardwood the rest floor. Of the house. So we kept it very light with the backsplash. It's just a, a subway tile, a little bit of an off-white color that goes with the countertop. This is really like a bright white. This actually has a little bit of cream in it, so this is not a true white. That's why this ended up off-white to kind of bring together this kind of cream and this white, something in the middle. And then we used black as kind of a contrasting color. And then we brought it back up into the light fixture. So then with the wall gone, open to the dining room, mm -hmm. have the black fixtures here in the dining room. So this fireplace was pretty orange. So we updated it with some new brick. The initial scope of the project changed and progressed. I think she had asked about, you know, doing this and then like, I'm gonna hold off. And then as we started getting into it and the wall came down and things were opening up and we knew that she was gonna eventually slide over into this because- Well, I think she saw my house is already destroyed. I mean, <laughs> they might as well just keep going. What's the point of, like, right, well, right. not to mention- Why like, put she, it back together and then destroy it again? Just And she had that old brick here. It definitely would have stood out now that it's open to the kitchen. <laughs> right. It would not have been fun seeing this the couch. not belong. Watching your TV, looking at your old brick with the rest of the room looking right. awesome. Looks great. I love the tile because it's kind of got some different shades to it. This is one of my favorite tiles. It's not a gray, it's kind of more of a beige, but it's got a really cool texture to it. And we did the matte black stone. Yep, we stone. brought the black back in here, so we brought that into this room. Yeah, this is that honed look. This is actually one of my favorite black stones. Yeah, it's a pretty because it's pretty it has a little bit of gray and white in it, so it really goes with everything else. And even something simple like the light fixture here, they didn't have a light fixture here. Light fixtures make a big difference. And they had popcorn ceilings. So we were like, let's smooth all the ceilings because one of the telltale signs in older houses is the ceiling texture. A lot of these houses, they did not put light fixtures in the bedrooms right. or in the living rooms. That's where the leg lamp came into play. Oh, right. And didn't we do the railings? Yeah, she had the wrought iron. This was wood, polyurethane. Oh, right. And then we're like, oh, I don't think it would look really good white with the rest of the trim up here because mm -hmm. they had clear polyurethane trim all over here and we painted everything white. Right. If you just want to do a quick update to a house and you have the stain trim, just painting the trim white will make the house look more updated even if you did nothing else to it. And then if you're like, hey, oh, that dinner was great. I got to go use the bathroom. <laughs> this is a great bathroom. You just... <laughs> So this bathroom was very tight. Getting ready in the morning was you know, pretty tough. So that's why we took the tub and put it against the outside wall and that gave you some more walking space here. We have the regular vanity cabinet with a mirror where one person can get ready at, but then we did this secondary tall cabinet with a little bit of counter and a mirror so that if there were a couple people in here, there's enough room for people to kind of have their own space to get ready without bumping into each other. The shower, we wanted to keep it kind of uh fresh current look. You know, a lot of people like the subway. She wants class, she likes classic. So she likes everything she classic. She likes the classic. If you wanna go too crazy. Right. Everything very classic. So she did want to get some light in there too, so we were able to get a window in here. Even though you said she shouldn't have a window. I don't like windows in the showers, but she wanted a window, so here's the window. We went with the dark route because she said it would be much easier to keep clean. So it worked because we have a lot of black accents in here. So this just kinda ties it all in while also at the same time, making it easier to keep up. Their old heating system for the hot water heater we vented like right that. here. Yeah. And there was a huge space that was being taken up. So we were able to vent it directly out so we could get rid of that pipe altogether and gain that little bit of extra space here. Mm -hmm. So it made a big difference getting well, It was in my way and I needed the space so we had to get rid of it. Right, but we needed to also make sure that the poisonous fumes got out of the way too. I, this is more important. Not if you're dead. We get a lot of clients that say to us, I love the location of where I live, 
but I hate my house. We can help change that and make it so you love your house and that's what we try to do is bring all this together. Getting rid of that wall and adding the island, it's almost like adding another room that they weren't really able to use before because now they have seating here, they have the seating in the dining room and it's open to the living room so now it just can be used in a different way. You know, I love the kitchen but I think that fireplace is one of my favorites. The bathroom's cool too. Actually, I do like everything about this project, so I don't know if I can pick a favorite. <laughs> I just kind of because it all came off really well. Yeah. I think they're pretty happy. And What's your favorite? Anything that's your favorite. Alrighty.